Mari Mari Kompuche and welcome back. Today the camera is a bit crooked. Didn't notice that before. Let's see if I can switch things around. I'm using sort of a block. That's a bit better, I think. I think I think. Am I too high up? Let's see. Better. I think it's a bit better. Mari Mari Kompuche and welcome back. Today I am back at my parents. Uh, the window is open to that side so if you hear any nature that's probably it. Um, and the postman is supposed to arrive at any moment so if you hear any vehicles it's probably that. Um, also my mom is in the kitchen right now um, so she's just like I'll be as quiet as I can tell me when I can make any noise and I was like do you just relax and I'll record and if you hear any noise in the background that's what it is but once I start recording the sound I think that that's gonna cover most of the background noises I think. Uh, okay so I am doing Stargazer from uh, the Wembley 2015 live tour vehicle of spirit tour yeah anyway yeah so that's what i'm reacting to today uh to my knowledge i've never heard this song i hopefully i'll find out while i'm listening to it if it's part of this tour or if it's a previous song from a previous album um also i've forgotten to i was going to tell you last week when i recorded but i'm going to tell you now because the situation hasn't changed i still haven't had time when i'm recording this i still haven't had time to uh, read through your comments on my last two previous weeks i'm so sorry for that but i've been very busy uh, hopefully i'll have time this afternoon and tomorrow to go through all comments and i realize it's a lot of comments because as of two weeks ago i have four reactions to four yeah four different reactions to um, read through the comments on so I, it's gonna take me some time and I'm sorry I try to do it the day afterwards if I can't do it the same day that I upload but I've just been very busy basically but uh, yeah when this one goes up I should have read the majority of your comments I hope I hope um, okay so Stargazer Nightwish 2015 live at Wembley I'm a good screen over here. Wow. We bow deep before you, the most fantastic audience a band can wish for. <laughs> Thank you. Scottish flag. This night is indeed unforgettable. How are you guys doing? Are you having fun? <laughs> the energy is just going through this building like nothing else. It's fantastic. We've had such a fantastic tour with two other fantastic bands playing every day in different places and today we landed here with you fantastic people wow what a fantastic end of a fantastic tour of course we're quite curious to hear did you like the bands did you like amorphous such fantastic band from finland as well but how about arch enemy I don't think I know who Arch Enemy is. It's such a fantastic band, such a great people. We've had such a great time and today we're ending this dream tour with you in this dream venue with a dream audience. Wow! <laughs> As if the audience didn't already love her. And slip into the comfort of the holidays and the end of the year parties and all of that. We would like to invite you into the Nightwish history. Would you like to hear a golden oldie? Okay, so it's an old song then. Sounds pretty yes, but is it like yes, kind of nice, no, maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very big yes! Sounds like it. Absolutely. Well, since it sounds so absolutely stunning, can you do it one more time just for us? <laughs> this one 
one most deserves the absolutely free Stargazers! So repeat. I'm loving this. I mean, Thomas playing. I'm loving all of it. So I'm loving this in a, as a whole. Of Where do I want to jump back to? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just comment and then re-listen to Yeah, I'm going to re-listen to the entire thing, I think. Um, yeah, I'm really liking that. Obviously, I liked the beginning when she was talking to the audience. That was a really nice bit to, to include. Um, yeah, the instrumental start, very, very, very nice. Um, the guitar, the keyboards, the drums, it just... Yeah, it definitely set a, a tone, and that first little, um, first little melody that then got repeated and then sort of enhanced towards the ending, and then sort of brought the full-on uh, band on. I feel I really like that bit, and yeah. So I don't know how old this song is. Um, I d I'm not recognizing it, but I know that even before I stopped listening to Nightwish in 2004-ish. Uh, I still haven't heard every single song that they have ever released um, before that. So I don't know if, that's, if this song is older or if it's not. So do let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, because she's using more of an operatic sound. So it could be because it's sort of more created towards Staria. Uh, I still never, I still haven't yet heard Annette sing. Uh, but what I understand from everyone, she was more of a poppy voice which I'm guessing it's more about chest or mix um, but yeah I still haven't heard Annette sing so I, I, I mean, it could just simply be Floor um, changing it up so it could have been a song sung by Annette but I don't know so let me know how old this song is in the comments I'm liking it I'm definitely gonna re-listen to it because I feel like I am um, yeah there were a lot of things happening so far and the song hasn't been playing for that long so I feel like I definitely need to re-listen to it to sort of pick up more things um yeah I'm just gonna hit play My sort of that melody repeating with different instruments, voice or liking it because there is sort of an ethereal feel about it and I suppose that's you know connected with the theme of the song Stargazer and the background and um, and then her voice obviously but then sort of like the bass is really heavy if you will like you can really hear it uh, the drums it's just mwah, um, and the guitar has sort of a underlining grit to it so I really like that sort of very ethereal and then very gritty mix that they've just slammed together I think that's the thing that I'm sort of I'm trying to pick the, to pick out certain things but it's sort of the entirety mixed together I mean obviously it's always the entirety mixed together but I'm like 
really enjoying it and it feels like it has such a fast tempo that I'm like wait I don't want to miss anything I just like my thoughts are going very fast as I'm listening and I'm like if I pause to talk or will I talk over it or yeah I barely know what to pick out I'm liking it however but it's very it feels very high tempo <laughs> I'm liking it Oh, gonna blow my eardrums out, but I want to. Oh, I love their changes. Thank you. I mean, I'm gonna say we're missing this, but it definitely elevated it. Oh. The drum, Sky's killing it. Oh, oh. It's gorgeous. It can't be over yet. Oh. Okay, um, yeah, as I said last time I paused, I think, I, I barely know what to pick out because it's the, the entirety of this. Oh, okay, so what can I pick out to mention specifically? Um, she kept the operatic, oops, she kept the operatic going throughout. Um, the bass was really nice, the guitar was gorgeous. Uh, Thomas and the strings. Um, I think Kai just really, I think, yeah, because had the drums been more prominent or less, it would have, it wouldn't, for me at least, I don't think it would have had the impact it did. Now, I did have it quite high, and at the end, I think I mentioned that I wasn't going to blow my eardrums out. Um, that just, you know, when you're listening to, sometimes it's the bass and sometimes it's the drums, but you can sort of feel the vibrations on your chest. Um that was really nice. I really like when that happens. Um, yeah. I like the lyric. I wasn't capturing every single word, um, but I like the lyric. It was it definitely works with the Stargazer and the music that they had created. It just... I really like that. I wasn't... I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. And I feel like I'm sounding like a broken record because I, you sort of never know what you're expecting when you're listening to a song for the first time but I don't know it just yeah it wasn't this <laughs> um it's nice that they can still surprise even though this as I understand is an older song I haven't heard it I don't think I've heard it before because it feels like the way it was making me feel it feels like I would have remembered this song if I'm liking it as much as I did on first play so I don't think I've heard it before yeah, I'm gonna replay it again because I have to listen to this one. So um, and so will my mom once I've done listening to it because she's she's been enjoying my Nightwish journey because she also enjoys good quality music. So she's really 
every time I play has something of Nightwish. And sometimes she watches these as well, so hi mom. Um, but uh, yeah, so when I play it to her afterwards, which I'm going to do, uh, I pretty much think she's going to enjoy it as well because it's it's the complexities. Um, because yes, you can listen to this song and it's just like, oh, it's nice, it's upbeat and it's, you know. Uh, but when you try to, even though I find it really difficult this time to sort of pick out specific things at specific moments, I feel like it's because it had such a feel of high tempo that things were going by so quickly that it's difficult to say like, oh, the bass here and the drums there and the, it's just like, it's happening so quickly that you're just like, this, at least that's how I felt, like I couldn't pick up one thing at one moment to mention. Maybe on second listen I will be able to, I don't know, or maybe I'll just be quiet and enjoy it. Um, yeah. But she's going to enjoy the complexities as well, because um, I think I know my mother's musical taste, music taste enough to know that she's going to uh, enjoy it. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, when did the stong, stong song start? <laughs> uh, because I don't, however lovely it was to hear her say all that in the beginning. Maybe we don't need to. Let's see, was it two minutes in? Could that have been it? Let's see, I'm gonna make it easy to, for myself and go two minutes straight in. Would you like to hear a golden oldie? Golden oldie. Sounds pretty yes, but is it like yes, kind of nice? <laughs> no, maybe not, I don't know. Or is it. I don't know, I don't want to move too much there for it to be reflecting on the piano, but I also want to leave space for the screen to go there. Absolutely stunning. Can you do it one more time just for us? This one most deserves and absolutely for you. Stargazers! I mean, this already, this just like, mmm, nice. That little. Goes back to it, but amped. Nice. I didn't even notice the pyros last time. The quickness. heavy bass. Changed us so well.
Yeah. Okay. Few things. Let's try not to forget those things. All the applause and so much more are so uh, deserving. Um, okay. What else did I want to say? Uh, before I forget it, that's more on the performance for Floor. Um, I think you all noticed, and I think everyone knows by now, uh, you know, to reach that operatic sound, you sort of need your diaphragm to be really, um, you know, at 100%. I mean, you should be using it when you sing it either way, but definitely it needs to be um, very grounded to get those notes as clear uh, as possible. So if she wasn't moving around as she does sometimes, it was pretty much her by the stand. Um, but as we know from before, she's such an amazing performer that she doesn't really need to move around at all because you already feel her presence, you know, just reach out to every single one. So it, it wasn't like it diminished her performance in any way because you feel that strength and that performing energy from her anyway. But yeah, I suppose that's one little detail that I can point out because I feel like I couldn't really pick anything specific for this one. It would just like slam right at me. I, yeah, I really like that. Um, definitely improved on second listening and I think it will improve even on third because I, yeah. Um, because you sort of know, it's sort of that gratification thing of now this is going to happen. And do I remember correctly this was happening now? And it sort of becomes sort of a gratification for your brain to sort of like, yeah, this is happening and this is happening. And I almost felt like I could sing along even though I couldn't. Um, but that's also another bit of gratification where you sort of like, the lyric is sort of getting stuck by every time you listen to it. So it, it was really nice. I have one more reaction to record for... Uh, at this upcoming Friday, but afterwards I'm going to be listening to this one on a loop. I was also thinking this time, listening to it the second time, um, that this is going to be one of those on dark winter mornings when I can't get up because I'm really, I like getting up early and on some it's really easy because, you know, the sun is up at four, so, you know, getting up at six isn't really that difficult for me when it's already that bright outside, uh, but uh, on the long winter uh, months when it's just dark uh, however much I want to get up early it's far more difficult and I think this is one of those songs that is really just gonna kick my body into the energy I need to just be able to jump out of bed so it's also nice to find a song like that as well not just a good song but something that's gonna sort of like yeah definitely fill you up with energy really liked it okay uh i'm gonna leave it here for today i need to figure out what i'm gonna react to on friday i have to read through uh your old comments to see if there's anything there i know there is i can't remember i think i've already decided now i can't remember i think i know. now that i'm talking about it i think like i did make a note of it last week when i did well yeah Anyway, I'm going to leave it there now um, and I will see you when I see you, hopefully on Friday. And uh, take care of one another and be safe. Bye.